Hi, this is Jamie with Stonemeyer Games. I'm here today to do something I don't normally do on this channel, which is to talk about something that I designed and that my company, Stonemeyer Games, is releasing. And this something is an expansion to Viticulture called the More Visitors Expansion. It's a pack of 40 new visitor cards that players will be able to just shuffle into their existing sets of, of visitor cards in Viticulture. And just to let you know, in case you're not familiar with Viticulture, a visitor card is a, a card that you play that gives you a one-time powerful ability that you use. Um, last year, I was working with one of my game design idols, a guy named Uva Rosenberg, who's designed games like Agricola and Caverna, Patchwork, and a ton of other games. Um, we were working together on the Viticulture Essential Edition, which is now the official version of Viticulture that we produce. And during this time, I thought, you know, I'm working with one of my game design idols. I might as well ask him if he is interested in designing a few visitor cards for the game. And I figured he would design like three or four cards and I'd create a little promo pack and put it on the Board Game Geek store. But a few days later, Uva sent me a list of like 80 card designs. Like he had just pumped out these card designs. I, don't, I really don't know how he did it and it made me even more respect and appreciate his abilities as a designer. So I spent some time with this list uh, with my, my co-founder and design partner, Alan, and we kind of whittled the list down to 40 visitor cards, because um, there were some on Uva's original list that just didn't work or didn't fit with our design philosophy. Uh, we, chained, we whittled it down to 40 and kind of honed those 40 so that they were balanced and fit in with the other cards. Um, but I used the word fit in there, and that's where I want to branch off and, and tell you another aspect of this story um, that has to do with a game called Magic the Gathering. Uh, in Magic, uh, they're, they have an amazing design team, and when they design a set, they usually put like four or five new abilities in that set, and they create a ton of cards within those abilities. But there was one set that they released about five or six years ago, maybe longer, called Future Sight, where they threw that design philosophy out the window, and they just designed a ton of individual standalone cards that, uh, like the, thematically, the idea is that car those cards had come from the future. They had come from future sets. Um, and so there were, there were tons of new abilities and unique cards. Um, and I, you could kind of tell that they had a lot of fun with this set because they weren't restricted by only using four or five new keywords or, or, or you know, mechanisms. And so I kind of took the same philosophy with a more visitor expansion. I had this, this concept in mind that I wanted to throw a lot of different ideas into this set. I didn't want to release a whole set of special visitor cards and have basically like five new abilities that were stretched across all those cards. So there are a few cards that are similar to other cards in the set, but a lot of them are standalone unique cards that that uh, just kind of stand out from the rest of the cards. They're, they're different, they're unique. Um, and this was a, just a lot of fun to design without those those normal constraints of creating like, you know, you really like stretching out one ability across a bunch of cards. Um, and I hadn't really done that before when I, you know, w with, uh, with Euphoria. Oh, and actually this is something that I experienced along the way while originally designing Viticulture and Euphoria. I, I was influenced perhaps a little bit too much by Magic because Magic creates these cycles of cards. So they might have, they might have a, a card in red that is pretty similar to a card in white and green and black and blue, all the other colors. Like it's a little twist on the ability. They have these cycles. Um, and I kind of, that was my, originally what I did with uh, the Euphoria recruit cards. I had these cycles of cards, but it ended up making each faction feel pretty much like the other factions. They, they weren't all that unique. So I got rid of that and just designed within each faction. And similarly, when I was originally designing Viticulture, I, uh, there were a lot of duplicate cards. Like uh, there was, a, say, a visitor called the King, and he would give you three gold. And I had like three copies of the King, or two copies of the King. Um, I, I, and I didn't realize how uninteresting that would be. Like 
as you're listening to this now, you might think, okay, yeah, why wouldn't you just put different versions of that card instead of the same card? But I wanted to fill out the deck. I wanted there to be a lot of cards. And um, what I didn't realize while we play tested is that often players would draw both kings. Um, you know, you draw two of the same card. And then if you didn't want the first king all that much, because it's a random draw, then you'd end up with two kings that you didn't really want all that much. Um, and the whole excitement of drawing these visitor cards is that you get to have these new things. So as I've designed more and more of these types of games, I've, I've moved more towards this, what I did in the more visitors, which is to not try to create cycles of cards, not create duplicates, but make each card standalone and interesting in its own way in such an extreme that I'm hoping that players, when they play these cards, they think, you know, I wish I wish there were other versions of this card. I wish you know I wish there was a, a little. I wish there was a, like a winter version of this card, or a summer version of this card, or a card a version of this card that did something a little different. Um, and I'm curious to see what people how people talk about them. If they do, maybe they'll just play with them. Um, yeah, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to tell the story of of the more visitors expansion. I'm really excited to be releasing it next week uh, via a, a pre order system that we're using. And if you're watching this in the future. I'd love to hear your, or in the present, I'd love to hear your thoughts on games that have a lot of cards with unique abilities. And do you like cycles of cards that are kind of similar? Um, or do you like just a bunch of standalone interesting cards that could be in cycles but, but aren't? Thanks. I, I look forward to reading your, your thoughts in the comments.